Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to connect, link, and select data in Bartender. Bartender considers any data stored in a file outside of Bartender to be a database. By connecting a database to Bartender, you can pull the information from that database into your Bartender document. To connect a database to Bartender, you can access the Database Setup Wizard through the File menu by selecting Database Connection Setup. Bartender allows you to connect to many different types of databases. The Database Setup Wizard displays the different types of databases you can connect to. Select the type of database you want to connect to Bartender and click the Next button. On the Select File screen, enter the file name of the database or click the Browse button to navigate to it on your computer. Select your database and click Open. When you click Next, you will be able to choose the table or tables in your database that you want to connect. You can drag and drop tables between the available tables and Tables to Use sections of the dialog. If you place more than one table in the Tables to Use section, you will need to click Next and review the automatically generated join conditions. When you have the tables you want in the Tables to Use list and the table joins check out, click Finish. Once your database is connected, you will see it listed in the Database Setup dialog. To verify that you are indeed connected to the correct table, you can check the Record Browser to see your database table. On the Connection Properties page of the Database Setup dialog, you have the option to create a named database connection. By creating a named database connection, you will be able to store the link to this database inside of Bartender. The named database connection saves only the connection to the database. Any configurations that you make to the database will only be stored within the current template. This allows you to use different tables and configurations of the same database in different documents without recreating the connection again and again. If you need to connect a new database to your document, the icons at the bottom of the navigation pane in the Database Setup dialog will allow you to disconnect the existing database, add a new database, or refresh the fields in the existing database. When you click OK, the fields from the database will appear in the Data Sources toolbox under Database Fields. To connect the database fields to your template, simply drag a database field from the toolbox to the template object you want to populate. At the bottom of the design area, you can page through the records to see the information supplied by your database. This little icon here is the Live Database Connection icon. If you are disconnected from your database, you will see a red X at the bottom of this icon. If you find your database has been disconnected, try clicking on this icon. When you are ready to print, you have a number of options for selecting the records you want to print. You can see in the Print dialog that the Use Database box is checked. When you open the Queried Records drop-down list, you can choose which records to print. You can select all of the records, the first record only, just selected records that you define, or you can choose to select the records at print time. When you choose Selected, you can type in the records you want into the Selected Records field or open the record selector by clicking on the Select Records button. Inside the record selector, you can enter in the record numbers that you want to print. Or you can check the records you want to print and uncheck the records you do not want to print. You can use the search bar to narrow down specific items within your database fields. The records you search for will be returned, but not selected so you can choose which of those records you want to print. You can also prompt for the record selector at print time by choosing the Selected at Print Time option in the Queried Records field. When you click Print or Preview, you will open the record selector to choose which records you want to print. When you click Preview or Print, you can see that only the selected records are printed. To quickly recap, in this video, you learned how to connect a database to Bartender through the Database Connection Setup Wizard, located in the File menu. How to create a named database connection that can be used in multiple document templates. And how to link database fields to the objects on your label template. You also learned how to select specific records at print time using the Record Selector. 
If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.